after recording numerous classes on the gift of struggle, I realized a very, very powerful idea, which I'd like to really conclude with that. What is a gift? What's the difference between a gift and any other acquisition that we have? And the answer, I believe, is as follows. When you get a gift, you realize that not only is there the material acquisition that you're receiving, but there's also the giver. A gift implies a giver. A gift implies that somebody has thought about you. Somebody cares about you. Someone has taken the time to look into your life and see what you need and what would make you happy and has bequest, um, has bequeathed this upon you and given it graciously to you with, with grace. And this is the idea of the gift of struggle. Struggle is not just something that happens, happenstance falls into our pathway. Struggle is a gift. God sends us this gift. God sends it to us and he beautifully wraps it and he delivers it into our hands. And we have to recognize it's a gift. You know, if you get um, a gift, as the famous story is told in Tractate Titus about Rav Nochem Ish Gamzu. Rav Nochem Ish Gamzu, he was one of the great um, scholars of the Tanaiti period. He was sent to deliver a gift of a box of jewels to the emperor. He spent the night in a hotel in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an inn, and the innkeeper, who was a uh, lacking scruples, he took out all the jewels and he placed it with earth. So Nochem Gamzu, he comes to the king, the emperor, and he presents him with this box, and it's filled with dirt. And you can imagine the emperor was not happy. Um, someone there said, well, maybe this is the famous dirt that um, Abraham in the Bible used, that when he threw it, it turned into spears. And lo and behold, it was, and he was given another gift. Uh, his jewels were replaced, right? If someone hands you a box of dirt, We'll think this person is out of his mind. But if you realize this is very special dirt, either because it turns into arrows or because it's some of the most fertile earth that exists on planet Earth, <coughs> any plant will grow on this earth, whatever it might be. Whatever it might be special about this soil, right? But it's a gift. Someone has thought about you. Someone has thought about your life. Someone has planned and given you this because they feel that this is something that you need. I remember when my uh, cousin, one of my cousins, received for her birthday a, um, um, a a dirt bike from her husband. She said, he understood this is what I really need. And we all get what we really need. We're all given by God the gift, God, the gift that we really need. And often it's struggle. Often it's difficult because we learn the most from struggle. As I pointed out to someone once, a person changes very little when things are um, smooth sailing, right? It's the rocky roads. It's the ups and downs of life, and the bumps and the tribulations and the trials and tribulations. Those are things that move us to change and they inspire us and they, they make us different people. They make us better people. And it all starts by recognizing it's a gift. Where is it coming from? As we say so often, right, the phrase, everything the merciful one does, he does for good. If you make that part of your repertoire, always saying it over and over again. Everything the merciful one does, that's God, he does for the good. And you realize that everything is good. There's no bad in the world. Bad is only what we make of things. Bad is how we internalize life and what happens to us. And everything, every second of life is a gift. And the biggest gift is when things go wrong and not when they go right. The biggest gift is when we have struggles and things don't go easy. Because that forces us to bring out our true inner strength, to determine who we really are, and to and to take a stand for what we really believe in, right? And to hold our ground and to show it's important to us. When things are going smoothly, then we're not held accountable, right? When things are going difficulty, that's when we're really challenged and forced to um, to change and to become better and to find our true inner strength, right? As they say in English, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. If we really want to become happy and better people, we have to internalize Bobby's message that struggle is not an enemy. It's a gift. It's a friend. We have to know how to use it and know how to channel it and know how to um, know how to, um, to 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 recognize the beauty and the um, greatness of struggle. We should all be successful in this endeavor. 
that using every single difficult situation for positive, finding the gift of struggle, and when we unwrap the paper, the peel around it, right? The difficulties are the paper around it. But when you've taken all of the casing, the shelling around off of it, then you realize it's really just one gift. All the difficulties in life are one gift. And as the, the Vilna Gon writes in Shira Sherem at the end, he says, the greatest light is buried in the greatest darkness, right? The greatest joy is hidden in the greatest sorrow. As the, the verse says in, in Tillim, Afachta misvadilim onchalivit, right? You turned my sackcloth into dancing, right? And this is something we can all do. We can all have completely different lives. If we recognize that everything is a gift, that the difficulties are the wrapping paper, and underneath this wrapping paper is a beautiful, beautiful present we call appreciate and enjoy.